Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gwen and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing five tips for retaining length for straight natural hair. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also be sure to turn on all your notifications and check out the description box for my natural hair coaching program, as well as links to all the products that I mentioned in this video. All right, let's get started. Tip number one is to apply oils to your hair. Using oils on your straight natural hair will help to keep it nourished, healthy, and soft. So I like to apply oils to my straight hair at night so that it's all absorbed by the morning. So the main oil that I like to use is this. This is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Replenishing Sheen Spray. So I really like using this on my hair. It's just an oil sheen spray and you just spray it on your hair. And I like to use this at night, like I said. And then once a week, I will apply another oil. So this is my So Naturally Scalp Oil. So this is an oil that is my recipe and it's available on my natural hair store, So Naturally Shop. If you're interested in purchasing this, it will be in the description box and you can purchase it online. So the benefits of this is that it helps to nourish the hair. It also helps with itchy scalp and it also promotes hair growth. So I swear by this, not just cause it's my own recipe, but it's something that I actually use and then I wanted to sell it to you guys. So you can enjoy it as well. And yeah, I like to apply that once a week. I did actually apply it yesterday because it's getting closer to my wash day and I really like the results. Like I said, I apply it at night and I mainly focus it on my ends and then work my way up to my scalp. Because the ends are the oldest part of our hair, they need the most moisture. Now, when I do apply this, I don't neglect the roots of my hair because a lot of time the roots of your hair will get dry as well. So make sure you apply it to the entire length of your hair, but focusing more so on the ends. Tip number two is to add a curl to your ends. So I would normally straighten my hair, just bone straight. I just felt that once I added curls to my ends, I noticed that my ends were a lot more protected and I also retained a lot more length. So I guess you can see that like if the curls kind of encase your ends almost, they're a lot more protected than if your hair is straight and then, you know, your ends are just more exposed to breakage and manipulation. Tip number three is to keep your ends protected. So I don't mean protective styling in the traditional sense, although you can do that with your straight natural hair. But what I'm more so mean is just being mindful of where your ends are. So one thing that I do is I tend to keep my ends towards the front just so I always know that they're protected and I know where they are. And another thing that I do is I use a claw clip. So that is more so my protective style, if anything. So this helps because I find that when my hair has been too manipulated, my hair gets a little bit irritated, like a little dry, dull, frizzy. And I've noticed that when I put my clip in my hair and I like give it a second and I'm just, you know, chilling. And then later when I take out the clip to put my hair up for the night, I notice that my hair feels a lot calmer. And then lastly, be mindful of when you are putting on your coat, when you're putting on your purse and wearing scarves and things like that. It might be a good idea to also put your hair up so that you don't have to worry about it rubbing and your ends breaking off. Tip number four is to keep your ends trimmed. So ever since I started to curl my ends more, like I said, I don't feel like I need to trim my hair as much and I feel like I'm retaining a lot more length. So I don't trim my hair as often, but I do make sure that my ends are trimmed because trimmed ends are more healthy and they're less likely to cause further breakage. And when you do trim your hair, make sure you are using real hair shears. So these are the ones that I like to use. These are by the brand Goody and I just got them from Walmart. And tip number five for retaining length for your straight natural hair is to keep your hair detangled. So I mean this more so when it's in the curly state. The process of getting your hair from curly to straight can be pretty manipulative and damaging just because you are, you know, working through your curl pattern and you're also applying heat to your hair. And if you have a lot of knots going on during that process, you're not going to retain a lot of length because you're going to need to cut out a lot of knots. So ways that I do this is by using this shower comb. So this is the one that I'm currently using. Be sure to check out my most recent wash day routine if you're interested in how I actually detangle my hair. And I will also be making a detangling routine for my natural hair. So be on the lookout for those videos. All right, that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed finding out my five tips for retaining length for straight natural hair. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also be sure to turn on all your notifications and check out the description box for my natural hair coaching program, as well as links to all the products that I mentioned in this video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.